So for this video, it's probably going to be one of the shorter and definitely maybe the most uninteresting of all the videos we are going to cover. But something that truly can be important is covering common prescriptions for various treatments. So in the exam, you really can be asked, what fractionation scheme do you use for this body part? Or if you have SBRT long or SRS, what is the common prescription? Even going into OAR constraints and tolerances is something that they very well may ask. I probably won't make a video specifically about that, but this is simple enough that we can just co cover some of the common prescriptions. That way you have them in a nice short format. I say make a flashcard, write them down, review them. Don't make that priority number one when studying, but still something that I think is important. It's good to know as a clinical physicist anyhow, but also just for this exam, it's something they very well may ask. So let's get started with the brain. So conventional fractionation is 180 by 34. So that's 61 gray. And the good thing about these is too, if as long as you're within the ballpark, it's going to be good enough. Everyone's prescriptions are different in the clinic, depending on the physician. So if you're a little off, you could argue, hey, that's what my physician does. That may not be what I choose, or that may not be what everyone does. So you have some leniency there. And I definitely would use that if they start questioning you, oh, 61 gray, why isn't it 64 or something like that? You know, in case some of the numbers are a little off. Now, head and neck, this is 200 by 27. So that's 54 gray. That's a common prescription type. We've got prostate, which is a common fractionation is 180 centigrade by 43 fractions. That's 77 gray. And that, depending on you're doing a boost or what have you, that may differ there too. We're just covering very basic prescriptions here. So just to drive home the point of it's good to memorize them. That's really the whole purpose of this video. SBRT prostate, we have 70 to 50 centigrade times five fractions, and that's going to give you 36 gray. So you got a little SBRT stereo there. Now, HDR tandem and ovoid is 600 by five. I also would guess that they are going to be more likely to ask you brachytherapy prescriptions than just conventional prescriptions. They could ask both, but I would definitely know all HDR and LDR prescriptions. So for LDR tandem and ovoid now, so we have two insertions. And each one of those is 20 gray, and that is with cesium-137. And normally, you also have a 40 gray boost with external beam. That's what the EB stands for. And remember, I said with cesium-137, you use a different nuclide, it may be different, something to look up and, and verify. We've talked about that in previous videos. Now, cylinders. That is a pretty standard 600 centigrade by three fractions for 18 gray. We then have eye plaque that is 85 gray in one week. Again, it's very important to say that this is LDR, the plaques are coming out. So it's one week or 168 hours. And that's through the apex of the tumor. So a lot of these are just to whatever the PTV is. But for this eye plaque, that is apex of tumor in the eye. And then finally, we've got LDR prostate. Again, this is going to differ based on your nuclide, but typically we have 145 gray using I-125. And then we have 125 gray with palladium-103. We've covered this, but be sure you know why they differ and what the prescriptions are based on the nuclide. So again, know your prescriptions. Don't make a priority one, but when you have a little extra time before the exam or just to not read or cover heavy, dense physics material, just memorize some prescriptions. I really do think it will serve you well in your exam. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'll happy to help in any way I can. Happy studying and good luck.